Hello everyone, this is Sports Score 24 7 and here we are one more time with the, you know, with the latest, you know, I don't want to call it latest, but yeah. So, you know, the Liam Smith versus Canelo winner of the bout was, you know, obviously the man from Mexico in the end. But what a fight it turned out to be. You know, if you look at my previous video, I told you guys that Canelo would win in the later rounds, either by a KO or TKO, you know. And that's what happened because you know, if you look at it, Canelo is obviously you know the bigger name. You know he fought, you know he had like about 40 fights, whereas Liam Smith, I think he had only about 23 fights. So you know, experience is the obviously the key, and Canelo into you know being into big fights and uh, he knows what it takes. So you know obviously going into the fight, Manny had to retain a Canelo win. And in front of um, passionate Mexicans in Dallas, he delivered. You know, he delivered by a KO. The Mexican star, you know, got off a, a blistering strike in round one, landing many body and head shots, establishing his jab, you know, right from the start on the Englishman. Canelo's punches brought a smile from Smith in the first round. The second round was another strong one, you know, for Canelo who was using his good drink generalship and landing some nice body shots. You know, if you, if you watch the fight, Canelo was fucking going off the body, man, like it was fucking meal there. You know, although, you know, Smith did have some success at times with his own jab and back Canelo up onto the ropes at one point, but he wasn't doing anything. I mean, every shot he was landing, Canelo was slipping them. You know, Canelo got a very good head movement. He knows how to slip punches. So, you know, I, I was impressed. You know, the third round came, of, you know, really came alive when both men landed some eye-catching shots. You know, on one another, standing in the middle of the ring, letting go of big shots. An excellent round for the fans at the AT&T Stadium. Round four was another positive one for Canelo. You know, we have developed a mark underneath the eye of Smith. The fifth has been, you know, controlled by Canelo right up until the end. You know, when Leon Smith caught him with arguably, arguably, you know, his best shots of the night before the bell. The right uppercut was proving to be a successful, useful weapon for Canelo in the round two. The curve under, you know, Smith high was really pumping blood in the sixth round in the sixth and Canelo, you know, landed some more, you know, some heavy body shots during that round as well. The seventh round brought the first knockdown of the Liam Smith. You know, it was the first knockdown of the fight when Canelo put Liam Smith down for the very first time in his career with the right hand over the top. You know, Smith, you know, I'll give him that, you know, props to Smith for getting up. Smith showed outstanding courage, you know, however, to fight, to come fighting back right at the end of the round. It was, you know, it was beautiful, man. You know, Canelo was catching, you know, he was, you know, it was apparently, you know, by this stage of the fight that Canelo's body shot was catching up with Smith. Smith pushed the pace again in the eighth round, but after a sick, you know, after a very hard uppercut was shipped. Canelo then followed up with a body shot that drops Smith, you know, again. He got up, he survived, you know, we all know Smith is a tough dude, he's got a good chin. But, you know, Canelo is on another level, man. You know, Canelo closed the show with an absolutely devastating body shot in the ninth round, finally stopping the all. A tough and brave Smith, you know, it was a, it was a sick body shot, man. You could hear it from the, even I was, I wasn't there, but even you could hear, it, man. It was like boom, boom. You know, it, it, it sounded like a shotgun, more like a Gennady Golovkin punches, you know. With the knockout win, Canelo improved, you know, his fight record to 48 and one. As the world awaits a big fight with the Gennady Golovkin and the young Mexican next year. Hopefully it should happen next year. 
And uh, another good thing about it, you know, that fight was, uh, you know, Canelo brought in about 51,000, over 51,000 people crowded at the AMT Stadium in Dallas, Texas. You know, that just shows Canelo star power in boxing right now. I mean, who's better than him now? You know, he brings the fans. He's bringing the fans, man. But overall, it was a good fight. Props to Liam Smith. I think it is, you know, it was expected. You know, like I said, it was expected. You know, Liam Smith is a great fighter, but obviously, you know, he's not matured. He's not, you know, he hasn't, you know, he has been to, you know, in the big fights. So obviously, with this loss, he will learn and he will come back stronger. You know, this guy can box. But you know, he, he was slow, you know, he was waiting for the opportunity all night long and Canelo didn't give him one. Every time Canelo was backed up against the ropes, you know, he was slipping punches. Liam Smith was throwing some, you know, good shots, but he, Canelo, uh, it wasn't landing on Canelo. Canelo was slipping punches, so, you know, I think it was a learning experience for Liam Smith. I know he will come back stronger, he's a great lad. And uh, whereas Canelo, Canelo is gonna come back, and uh, you know, hopefully we get to see Triple G versus uh, Canelo next year. You never know. I hope this fight really get made. But you know, don't lose hope, man. You know, ho hopefully it will happen probably next year. Let me know, guys, what you think. Please like my video, subscribe, and uh, thank you for watching Sports Code 24/7. Thank you, bye.